<laughs> what happened? Uh, I didn't understand that. Did you understand that? No, I didn't understand that at all. We're going to have to get someone much smarter than us to explain it to us. Let's act. Dr. Fabrizio Ruguzzi, the University of Ferrara, and author of CP Lint, the Sweet Prologue based uh, system for probabilistic reasoning. So, you have just seen an example of a duel, which is a duel with three opponents. What the, the opponents uh, have to do is not clear. You have to, to really think about what to do. So, in reality, the player need game theory to, to decide what to do. So in a Mexican standoff, the first player to shoot is at, at disadvantage because while he is shooting, the the, the third player, the one uh, w uh, which is not uh, pointed by the player, by the first player, can shoot at him. So uh, what a but this isn't a conventional Mexican standoff. They do end up shooting at the end, and. Um, and Blondie knows that Tuco's gun is unloaded. Yes, in this case, Blondie knows that Tuco's gun is unloaded. So, uh, in this case, uh, the strategy for Blondie is clear. Uh, he should uh, aim at uh, Angel Eyes because he is the only one who can kill him. So, in this case, that's why he shoots uh, Angel Eyes and uh, in this way saves Tuco and himself. So, uh, Fabrizio, you've uh, written a program that's going to explain this to us. Um, can we see that? So, while in this case the strategy for Blondie is clear because he knows something that the other players don't don't know, in general, the strategy for a player is not so obvious. For example, in a in a very similar duel, but uh, uh, the difference, however, because the three opponents have to take turn in shooting the situation is much less clear. For example, if uh, uh, you have three thrillists, A, B, and C, that take turns in shooting, the order is A, B, and then C. Um, each shooter can shoot at one of the other thrillists or uh, at the sky. In this case, it is going to be a de deliberate miss. And the three opponents have different probability of hitting the target if they're not aiming at the sky. So for example, A has probability one third of hitting the target, B of two thirds and C of one. So the question is, uh, suppose that uh, it is A turn. What is the action that A should do to maximize his probability of living? Aim at B, at C or at the sky? And actually, you can answer this question by writing a program and, and, and having the program compute the probability of surviving uh, the, uh, of, uh, when performing each of the three actions. So, for example, uh, you can ask what is the best strategy for A with this predicate best strategy that return in S one of A, B, uh, B, C, or Sky. And uh, if, uh, in this case, uh, you, you could also ask what is the probability that A survives if it aims at, at B, or the probability that A survives if it, if it aims at C, and the probability that A survives if it aims at the sky. You can similarly ask the probability of A surviving when uh, B is dead, so when only A and C are, are remaining in the truel, or the probability that A survives when C is dead and only B and A remains in the true uh, So to, to, to compute the probability of, uh, of A surviving according to the different action, you could use this program, which uh, uh, uses the predicate survives action that uh, um, is true when um, uh, Tourist A 
uh, making action S in turn T and uh, with uh, L0, a list of uh, tool is still alive, uh, uh, survives. So in this case, A survives if A shoots at S. And uh, the result is that uh, the list of uh, players um, from L0 becomes L1. And um, uh, A uh, is one of the remaining uh, player, so it, it belongs in list L1, and the rest of the list is the rest. And A survives uh, the, the, the following uh, turns for the round. Okay, the, the, the base predicate is shoot, which uh, is true if uh, uh, player H shoot at S with the remaining player L0 at turn T. So uh, this predicate is the core of the program because it computes the effect of shooting. So if uh, uh, the, the, the player aims at the sky, then the list of players remains unchanged. Otherwise, we have to, to test whether uh, the, the shoot will hit the target. So whether player H uh, hits uh, the target at um, uh, turn T. In this case, if it hits the target, we delete uh, S, uh, which is the target, from the list of players. Otherwise, the list of players remains unchanged. And now here we have uh, the, the the only probabilistic clauses of this program, with the one that express the probability of uh, player A, B, and C of hitting the target. So the first clause states that player A has probability one third of hitting the target. The, the anonymous variable is uh, a placeholder for the for the um, turn because um, there is a different random variable for each turn. Okay. And uh, so player B instead has a probability of eating of two thirds and is expressed in this way, while C has a probability of eating of 100%. So uh, uh, we have this, these clauses. And then you have uh, the definition of survives around, which uh, ensures that uh, player A survives uh, the following rounds. And then you have the base strategy, which is uh, the strategy for all the players except for A in the first turn. Mm. This is because the strategy for all players except for player A uh, uh, can, be, um, can be decided uh, simply by, by a, a short argument. In fact, for all players except A, the best strategy is to shoot at the other the best shooter remaining, okay? So if we want to compute what, what is the best strategy for A, we can run this query and, and get that uh, S will take the value. Uh, so it takes some time because it has to, com to it, it performs inference by running sampling. So uh, it takes 1,000 samples to, to find out what is the best solution. Usually it takes about, uh, okay, 46 seconds. So the best solution is to aim at the sky. So for A to survive, uh, the, he should aim at the sky. Why? Because by aiming at the sky, uh, when it is B turns, uh, B will not aim at A. He will aim at C because C is a better shooter than A. So. Uh, by aiming at C, if B manages to kill C, then uh, it's going to be A turn, which will shoot at B. And he has probability one third of uh, killing B and survival. Otherwise, if uh, B uh, misses C, then C in the next turn, when it's turn, will not shoot at A. It will shoot at B and kill B surely, because B is a better shooter than A. So when it's a turn and A has probability one third of killing C and uh, remaining alive. So we we understand that the best strategy for A is to shoot the sky, but what would happen if A shot C? If uh, uh, A aims at C, uh, two situations can arise. So either aims 
A kills C, and if A kills C, then uh, the next turn B will uh, shoot at A, and A has a probability of uh, two thirds of uh, uh, dying and one third of surviving. Otherwise, if uh, A doesn't kill C, then uh, when it's B turns, B will uh, aim at C because it's a better shooter. And with probability two thirds, it will kill C. In that case, uh, the next turn is again by A, which has a probability of one third of killing B and surviving. If B doesn't kill C, then uh, the next turn. <laughs> okay, C we've just proven why we need a program for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's been uh, Prologue Goes to the Movies, and uh, uh, I'm Ann Ogborn, and this has been great fun. Thank you guys very much. Well, that was really informative. So that was another great use for using Seaplant, and thanks very much, uh, Fabrizio, for coming on for two of our programs. So thank you, Ann and Sam, for the opportunity to speak about tools. Goodbye and uh, let's keep playing with Prologue.